So we keep diverting from the real problem in the name of satisfying those who are part of creating the problem. What should be our message to the Congressional Black Caucus? Well, <laughs> I think one of the I think one of the problems of, of, of and why the Congressional Black Caucus has ignored the this harm to African American communities in the same way that all the other uh, racial groups in Congress have ignored them is that uh, I haven't looked recently, but something, you know, something approaching half or maybe more than half of, of the Congressional Black Caucus uh, represent districts that are heavily Hispanic and other immigrant. Uh, and so they're, they, their feeling is, is that they're, they're not there primarily to, rep to represent the interests of African-Americans, but to represent the interests of this wider group. And so there's a lot of, and, and the uh, typical African-American member of Congress represents a higher percentage of immigrants than, than to say the white ones, the white representatives do. So there's, you could say it's a little sense of divided loyalty, but I think the message that has to go to them is every form of mass immigration that harms the opportunity for African-Americans also harms opportunities for the legal immigrants that are already here. Uh, that's one of the things that I show over and over in my book. In which this is not, this gets right back to your point. Well, uh, you know, we're in this together. And so uh, the, the crazy thing is that too many people are making decisions that African Americans have to be held down in order to help Hispanics and other immigrant groups. No, um, this is hurting other immigrant groups. It's a question of, are you going to, if you're concerned about immigrants, are you going to hurt the immigrants who are already here for the sake of bringing in more immigrants? Or are you going to bring in fewer immigrants, help the immigrants who are already here, and, and stop hurting the, the African-Americans who have roots in this country? What are we talking about now? 15 to 18 generations that most African-Americans have roots in this country? And it you know, and a country that says it wants to square, uh, you know, square off the, some of the problems that happened from from slavery and Jim Crow and all of those things. And yet we have a federal government. So I think the message has to be to the Congressional Black Caucus. It really is primarily, look, you're not helping the immigrants who are already here by bringing in more immigrants. And why don't you help all of us and pay attention to what mass immigration has always done to the African-American community. So we're on the right track when we, in our We Rise initiative to change the educational outcomes uh, in Liberty City, to have partnership uh, uh, with the Hispanic community to make sure as we take this voice uh, to the powers to be, uh, that we take this voice uh, colorless, that we take this voice to the powers to be because we have people who are in part of this solution who do not look like each other, but they have the same kind of predicament. In, mm -hmm. in this and I think that's an important Powerful. move for us as we go forward. 